Hello everyone! <laughs> I'm so so excited. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that is excited. You cannot tell me that I'm the only one that is excited. As in, I am so excited because what? Today is the 2nd of June 2022 and that means the Big Brother reunion show begins tonight. Oh my god. OMG. Like, who else is excited like me? Anyways, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Idara Iyang. Welcome back to my channel every day with Idara Iyang. Now, if you've not yet subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Like, <laughs> like, if you've not been subscribing all this while, I can kind of like understand. But if you've not subscribed, if you're not subscribing today, I don't know why. Because I'm going to be giving you guys the gist about Big Brother reunion show that's beginning today. So go ahead and click on that subscribe button and turn on notification for more videos from me. Thank you. Okay, guys. Now, the Big Brother Ninja um, show that aired in um, that began, I think, in um, August. Yeah. August, yeah, July ending to um, October 2022. Um, they're going to be the, the reunion of that show is going to be is beginning today. And guys, all of our questions will be answered during the show. All right. Um, it's comprised of White Money, Beatrice, Nini, Queen, Michael, Perry, Ni, Yerin, Saga, Jackie B, um, Cross, Liquid Rose, Jam K. Angel, Maria, Emmanuel, KV, Tega, Boma, Sasuke, J. Paul, um, Joseph, um, Irene. Yeah, I almost forgot those people. Yeah, I actually wrote them down. Let me include their names. Yusef, Irene. If I have maybe omitted somebody, you can comment in the comment section and remind me, okay? It's, it was my intention now. Now, compared to all of these people, lots of people brought a lot of buzz balls to the show. All right, and a lot of our questions will be answered this evening. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. If you've not yet subscribed, this is the right time to do so. Click on that subscribe button and turn on notification for more videos from me. Okay, because I'll be giving you the gist. I'm giving you guys the gist about the show. All right, now um um. If you're in Nigeria, okay, we're using Nigerian time. If you're not in Nigeria, you can Google it and know the equivalent time in your country. The reunion show begins um, at 10 p.m. Nigerian time, okay? And um, it's going to be shown on DSTV. Now, there are going to be people, DSTV only airs in um, a number of African countries, quite a bunch of African countries, but I don't think it airs in um, other parts of the world. So and we have, I'm pretty sure we have fans, that's Big Brother Ninja fans in um, other parts of the world, like from France, US, and the rest. Okay, so if you are in other parts of the world that does that don't have access to DSTV, that is what my channel is all about. It, it's going is is based on basically. I'm going to be um talking about the show, watching it, we'll be analyzing. All right, so let's. As I said, you should click on that subscribe button because oh my, you'll be sleeping on your bicycle if you don't. All right. So as I was saying, um, I'm going to be talking about the whole show today. Um, like I said, 10 p.m. Nigerian time. If you come on YouTube, 10 p.m. Nigerian time, and look for my channel, you would actually basically get the full gist about the show. All right. Now we've seen um white money's just say, will you describe white money as being feisty? I don't know if it was very begin being feisty, but I feel like the words on the street can the word on the street kind of insinuated that people felt like they were used by white money but in my own opinion though because i don't remember the, the the tape that leaked um of maria talking to her fans kind of remember that um maria actually um said that they asked them a question like who was the most strategic amongst you guys and almost everybody said white money and but like in a way of like use them like like you played with their head you understand like basically insinuating that and in my own opinion though i would say yes it did but will you blame white money for that because everybody's supposed to come into the house with strategy i know people during the show were saying oh cooking is not a strategy it's cooking because it loves cooking it just loves cooking which to me made no sense like how can you be cooking and you, you cook every single day for how many days 30 90 days you look every from the first day to the last day you cook every single day and you're telling me cooking is not your strategy how is that even possible like please let me know that's not possible cooking
Setting was definitely setting a most definitely white money strategy, which I do not for like there is nothing bad in this in cooking being a strategy to me. Oh, because as you come into the house, you're supposed to have a strategy. It's only an unserious person that comes into that house that's a strategy. So probably he, 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 he realized that a lot of um, attention is usually given to whoever is cooking. So he decided to like come and be like, okay, I'm the chef in this kitchen. I'm going to cook for everybody. Do you understand? And um, with that, people, because sometimes people will come, other people will come and cook, like Angel will cook sometimes, and this person will cook sometimes, but why money cooked every single day? So it was more significant for cooking than any other person, okay? Now, using that cooking thing, people, he had a lot of camera um, time because he was a chef, okay? And people fell in love with white money, all right? And he became the winner. All right, so I think people in the house coming out of the house and seeing everything looking back they felt like oh my god He used them, but like what I'm trying to say is this And some of all I'm trying to say is that white money did yes use them But you cannot fault him for using them because everybody's supposed to have a strategy They are the ones that allowed themselves to be used Okay, they were supposed to if, if they felt like cooking was a strategy They're supposed to go into the kitchen and cook, and cook by themselves too and make sure that you two have your own screen camera time you understand what I'm trying to say? Anyway, something I zoroed in on when white money was supposed to talk about everybody. So we see white money in all of his glory and probably how they will castigate him. I don't know for using them. And then Beatrice what is one of the most shocking person. I don't know what they did to Beatrice. I mean, I know yeah, there might have been a lot of qualms issue between her and Maria and her Perry, but I don't really know what he what was between her and Boma as well. Okay. And then we've also seen Nini in a beauty, Nini and Saga. I think I think Saga will be asked what is his relationship status, and he will let us know that they are dating because I think everybody already knows that they are dating. I mean, who doesn't know that? And then Queen, Queen, and the three guys, Queen, Boma, and um, White Money, and Perry. I don't know because she had her eyes on those three people, and she tried to get those three people. Only White Money works at certain at a certain time. Yes, all right. You also see Michael, and probably will know the relationship started between Michael and Jackie B as time goes on. And then also, Perry Nee. Gary left the house so early. I guess we would he was to be given a lot of screen time, all right. And um, basically, we'll get to feel the vibe, we'll get to know like these people more and more. Now, I know there are major questions to be answered, like, um. I think like the major major one is the one between Licorice and Emmanuel. Are they dating or are they not dating? If they're not dating, what happened between them? Were they even ever dating? Were they playing us? Were they really real in the house? Was who was playing who in the house? Was anyone playing each was anyone playing the other in the house? And if so, who was that? You understand there's a lot of questions surrounding Emmanuel and Licorice, if you ask me, okay? And we'll get to know about that, okay, during the show. Like I'm just excited. If you can comment below, let me know. Who else is excited and cannot wait for 10 p.m. Nigerian time? That is me. Your girl cannot wait. Is it? <laughs> Anyways, what I'm saying, if you've noticed, subscribe. I don't know what you're waiting for. All right, click on that subscribe button. And very important to turn on notification in case so that once I once once I start, once this show starts and I start, then you get notified and you know where to watch the show. All right. Um, thank you very much for, for watching till this very end. I mean, to this moment, really. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to like this video, share with your friends and family. Um, comment below and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and bye.